Hi, I'm Martin from Ableton Live Expert. Today we're looking at the iConnectivity iConnect Audio 4 Plus audio MIDI interface for Mac, Windows and iOS. The box contains the unit itself, a mains power supply, a USB cable and a lightning to USB cable for your iOS devices. You can also purchase an additional older style 30 pin cable separately if you need one. The 4 Plus is encased in a what looks like a pretty tough metal shell and it should be very durable for gigs. The front panel features four combi inputs that will take XLR or quarter inch jacks and they'll accept microphones, guitars or line inputs. You can use the touch display next to that to select the various inputs and outputs and use the large knob at the right to adjust their levels. That's the only physical control on the 4 Plus. The back panel, we have mains power input, host USB, which is for connecting MIDI controller devices, two USB inputs for computers or iOS devices, MIDI in and out, four audio outputs, and a headphone out. You'll also want to install the free iConfig software, which gives you every possible option for controlling and routing your connections between devices. Truthfully, well, for somebody like me, I would never come close to using all of this functionality, but I'm sure a lot of people will be glad to have it. During this review, I found the audio mixer was the most useful section. The 4 Plus is class compliant for Mac users. For Windows, you just need to install a little driver. And this is how it shows up inside Live's audio preferences. For this test, I used this live set to host some software sounds and to handle audio MIDI routing to and from some separate bits of hardware, which you'll see in a minute. Let's try it now. Here's the 4 Plus. Right here it's working as a basic audio interface. It's connected by USB to the Mac. The other output here is just for my headphones for monitoring. There's a track here that's resampling all of the other outputs to capture audio for this movie. I have a drum rack in live with a MIDI clip. Let's just launch that first to make sure everything's working. Okay, now I've added the Electron Mono Machine. That's connected with left and right audio out. Two inputs one and two on the four plus. There's also MIDI coming out from the four plus and going over here to in on the Mono Machine. I have a MIDI clip in live that will send notes to the Mono Machine. MIDI will go out from live through the four plus to the Mono Machine, then audio will come back in from the mono machine into the 4 plus then it's alive i'm using an external instrument device inside live to make all this a little bit easier there's the drums then we'll watch a scene with the mono machine clip Okay, that's good, but let's keep going. Now I've added the iPhone 6 Plus with the Moog Anamoog synth app. That's connected just with the lightning cable, which is sending MIDI to the app and sending audio back from the app to another track inside live. Only one cable needed. I don't know if you'll be able to see on here, but the clip is also sending envelopes to the filter inside the app. Let's play that now. There's the envelopes. Thank you. 
So now I've added a MIDI keyboard, the M Audio Oxygen 25. This is connected just by USB cable to the host input on the back of the 4 Plus. It's available for any instrument, any track I want to send it to. Drums. Then just arm another track. Oops, got both going at once there. That's the Moog app on the iPhone. And finally, the mono machine, of course. Love that thing. Let's add another one. This is the Waldorf Rocket Synth. There's a USB cable here which is connected to the Mac. That's just taking power from the Mac. The MIDI input is actually coming out from the mono machine. There's audio out from the Rocket to input 3 on the front of the 4 Plus. The mono machine is sending sequence the notes direct to the Rocket. So now we're hearing the drum rack. We're hearing the Moog. Okay, that's good, but the 4 Plus also works in standalone mode, so here we're running it without a computer. That's why it has mains power. We're sending it using the iPhone 6 or the Tenorion app and the mono machine. We're sending MIDI through the uh, lightning cable to the 4 Plus. That's sending MIDI out then to the mono machine. We've got audio outs from the mono machine, which could go back into the 4 Plus, uh, although right now they're going into my audio recorder to capture the output for this demo. The Tenorion has 16 layers, and each layer sends on a different MIDI channel. It's very easy to get something going in relation to the mono machine. Of course, let's not forget the mono machine has a fantastic onboard sequencer as well. Good, I like that. I like that combination. So I hope it's giving you some idea of how useful the iConnect Audio 4 Plus can be if you need to connect and route a lot of disparate bits of equipment. The iOS integration is really useful. It charges devices at the same time, but more importantly, it makes your iOS devices feel like touch controllers for plugins. This is a well-built, professional piece of equipment that will make itself very useful. And it also comes in at a great price as well. I think it's well worth the money. I recommend this one. Thanks for watching.